Hi, welcome back to Let's Mom. So today's video is going to be the final grocery haul for Thanksgiving. And before I go out and pick up the rest of my groceries, I thought I would share with you what I plan on making for Thanksgiving. It will just be our family of five, but we love Thanksgiving. We love Thanksgiving food and we love Thanksgiving leftovers. So I have planned quite a large menu considering it's just gonna be five of us. Any recipes that I have, I will link in the description below so that if you want to make them, I'll make sure to get this video up in time so you would actually have time to make them and get the ingredients. But also, these are items that would be great for Christmas too. So the first thing that I'm making is a cheese ball and it has like three ingredients. So it's super simple. I don't really have a recipe, but I feel like there's a lot of recipes similar to this and Again, you won't need one. I'll, I'll show you how I put it together. And my mom has been making this ever since I can remember, and it is absolutely delicious. I'm going to be making a ham and a- Hi. I'm also gonna be making a ham and a turkey. And I was only planning to do a ham, but my son was like, you're not making a turkey. So, gotta make him a turkey. Uh, we're also gonna do just some basic corn with probably like butter and salt. Just you know, corn. We're also going to be making mashed potatoes and that is a pioneer woman's recipe and it's so good and I will definitely make sure to link that one. Um, stuffing, I'm just going to kind of make pioneer woman stuffing. It's just like a bait, one of her basic recipes, uh, but I probably won't follow it to a T. I'm just going to use ingredients I already ha have on, have on hand. Oh God ingredients that I have on hand plus I'll probably throw in <clears throat> some like fresh herbs too we love green bean casserole and by we I mean my husband and I we're the only ones that enjoy that so I'll have to make the green bean casserole plus a a can of just regular green beans for the kids I know this is a lot right and then I'm gonna make like a fresh kale salad as well and I found a recipe and I was, what I was hoping for, I love kale salad, but I kind of enjoy one that has kind of set and marinated for a bit. I just think that they taste a lot better. So I found a recipe for one that I've never made before and you can make it the day before. So I'll probably share that one as well. And then as far as like desserts go, my husband's gonna make pumpkin pie and um, I'm probably gonna make apple dumplings. Those are excellent. That's another Pioneer Woman recipe. So any of the recipes that I do have links to, I will link them in the description below. I went, I picked up groceries, our last grocery haul before Thanksgiving, and I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you what we got. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. I'm gonna be making a kale salad for Thanksgiving, and so I picked up some slivered almonds some dried cranberries. I needed some more extra virgin olive oil, so I got that. We need granulated sugar. We needed, of course, cream of mushroom soup for green bean casserole. Some honey. I needed both kinds of cranberries, so I got the jellied cranberry sauce and the whole cranberries. I went on and picked up another brown gravy because I feel like one package wasn't enough, so I got another one. Coffee, of course. I pretty much picked that up every single time. I went on and got the three pound containers of chicken broth. I have a little bit, I got two of those, so I got six pounds. I have a little bit frozen, but I think I need more, so. Picked up our juice mix, two crescent rolls, and this is for apple dumplings. I picked up some more chocolate chips because I already made cookies with the other bag, so I went in and picked up another one. I got some seasoning, salt, poultry season, poultry season, poultry seasoning, uh, some more vanilla extract, uh, black pepper, I need just a little bit of orange juice. We are not a big orange juice drinking family, but I need some for the ham. So I just picked up a small container of that. I got five things of cream cheese because I need two for 
the cheese ball I'm going to make, one goes in pumpkin pie, one goes in mashed potatoes, and I always like to have an extra one because you never know where you want to throw a little more cream cheese in, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I got our roll butter that we like to get. And for the kale salad, it, I need like Parmesan cheese that I'm going to like shave in there. So I went on and just got this. It was cheaper to get a wedge of it and then shave it myself. I also got this cheese ball, which I really like their like cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese ball. So I picked one of those up. But I am making another one, and I'm going to show you guys how I put that together. It's only like three ingredients, so it's super simple. Um, somehow this chocolate milk snuck into our cart. Jared. Uh, some half and half for different recipes. Heavy cream for different recipes. Whole milk for different recipes, plus just chocolate milk or cereal or whatever. Uh, the kids picked out some ice cream. I got two dozen eggs. A couple of things of like flat leaf parsley for different recipes. Two lemons. Granny Smith apples. I found this and I was looking for just some fresh thyme, but they didn't have it. But they had this like poultry blend. And it has rosemary, sage, thyme. Yeah, that's it. So I thought that would be good for different things. I picked that up. 10 pounds of russet potatoes. We got our King's Hawaiian rolls. Some whole wheat bread because we were just out of bread. Pie crusts. I picked up some waffles. I thought that would be good. The kids have one more day of school and then they're out. So I thought this would be nice because I'm going to be doing a ton of cooking. And so I just wanted to pick something that would be simple for their breakfasts for this week. We picked up a couple bags of just some steam corn just for, you know, just for an easy side. These are wonderful. And these were kind of an impulse out the door, literally like going out the door. And I'm like, Claire sounds so good. And so we picked those up. I did pick up one meat thing and this one meat thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I picked up one meat thing. <laughs> I picked up one meat item and it was these pork loin chops. They were marked down 275 and 218. But they're like they're really good, like no antibiotics ever, no growth stimulants. So pick those up. I also picked up some uh, pepperoni and hard salami. We'll put that out with crackers and cheese ball, and that will just be to kind of snack on while all the other food is getting prepared. I always pick up my son Takis. They're his favorite. I picked up, these are my two favorite type of crackers for cheese balls. So I got chicken in the biscuit and sociables. They're both really good. Another kid purchased some ramen. I picked up some... Uh, granola bars for the kids and my daughter picked up these cookies and cream pocky I don't know pockies okay and then I just had to pick up a few um, I don't know random things I needed some more like fabric f f ugh, oh my gosh I can't talk tonight fabric refresher so basically like Febreze to spray on the couch and spray in my dog's way because she stinks so bad. I also picked up, they had these on clearance and I don't remember how much they were, but it was just some air fresheners. I needed some more foil wrap, freezer bags, and I went on and picked up some like plastic spoons and forks because I don't have a dishwasher and I really don't want to be washing so many dishes and I already have paper plates. I also picked up a giant like turkey roaster because I don't have anything to cook a turkey in. So pick that up. I also picked up two packs of soda. So I just have to stash these away so the kids don't go through them. And the Mountain Dew is actually for the apple dumpling recipe. And then other than that, we just needed some paper towels and some Tide Pods. Okay, so that is it. That is all of our groceries for Thanksgiving. We just needed to pick up all the little extras that we hadn't gotten, and it was so busy in there. It was really a horrible time to go. 
So I hope that you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you next time. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and I will be seeing you later. Bye.